What we learned though, the U.S., they have depth. Even when they play without two-thirds of their starting midfield, the Americans are ones to be reckoned with out there in CONCACAF. We'll head you out to those highlights out there between the two sides. The second ever CONCACAF Nations League final. U.S., of course, beat Mexico 3-0, trying to repeat as champs. The youngest starting 11 in the final in U.S. history. 23 years and 214 days. Not your day, Canada. 12th minute with the corner. Gio Reyna, get up and get some for Chris Richards. Just dunking on the defense with the header. 1-0. USA on the score sheet early. His first career international goal in his 10th appearance for the U.S. men's national team. And he was loving it. Later on, 34th minute, Gio Reyna slips it to Falaren Balogun. Look at the precision. The finish is clinical. Shields the defender. 2-0. Mm. Stars and strikes. Balogun's first career international goal in his second appearance for the U.S. men's national team. Reign the second assist of the night. Concerning moment here, the bottom right of your screen there. 45th minute, you saw Gio Reyna go down. He was upended by the Canadian player. Gets hurt on the collision. He'd stay down for some time. Eventually would limp off, but would not be able to play the remaining 45. He was replaced by Luca De La Torre. And here, 10 minutes in the second half, a great opportunity to make it trace Acero. But no. Balogun somehow denied off the line the second attempt by Anthony Robinson with the follow-up saved by Boryan. Great opportunities, but it really doesn't matter. Canada would get no closer from there. Celebration, let it begin. A limping Gio Reyna, a happy Wes McKinney who was suspended due to the red card that he got against Mexico as B.J. Callahan becomes the first USA manager to win a trophy as an interim. It's the third straight CONCACAF title for the U.S. Reyna was named man of the match, had those two assists. Only American to play in two international finals before turning 21. So you look at the U.S. and the comes to the CONCACAF, they're starting to flex their muscle. They were the only CONCACAF team to make it out of the group stage of the 2022 World Cup. They enter the Nations League as the clear favorites. They leave now two-time champs with a Gold Cup title in between. It'll be a quick turnaround on Saturday with the start of this year's Gold Cup. But first, our Jenny Chu with the new kid on the block last night. Fellow, first two matches for the U.S. men's national team, and you really had a CONCACAF experience. They warned you that it would be intense. How was it for you out there? Yeah, I mean, this was a, sort of, this was a different game to the one against Mexico, but I mean, it was still intense. I still got a few knocks, but... Um, this is the sport, you know, I'm used to these things. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm just over the moon that we was able to win today. You score your first goal for the United States in your second game wearing the crest. Talk me through that goal and what you saw from Gio Reyna. Yeah, I mean, as I said, uh, after Mexico, uh, it's going to take time to build relationships with my teammates. But um, I don't doubt myself. I mean, I saw Gio with the ball. I know his quality and I just made a short run in behind. It was a great slide pass and then I was just able to do what I normally do. And I mean, yeah, I'm just delighted that um, it helped us to be able to win this game today. As you get more familiar with your teammates now, two games in, what did you see from them and what sticks out to you about this group? Just the resilience and, and the, the way we stick together, you know. Uh, we saw it um, in the first game and we're seeing it here. We really, really do support each other. I've only been, a, I've only been here a short amount of time, but already I'm a, I feel a part of it and I feel a part of something bigger. So, I mean, it's a great feeling. So we've got something bigger brewing this morning as well. So, of course, we bring in the gaffer, Thomas Rongan and TR. The U.S. left, no doubt, with that 2-0 win over Canada to win the Champions League, Nations League, excuse me. What was your biggest takeaway from this? Well, as, as Clark is the undisputed king of the U.S. Open, the U.S. men's national team are the undisputed kings of CONCACAF. Canada, Mexico, a near-perfect 180 minutes. 3 nothing against Mexico, 2 nothing against Canada. Reasons why? Five goals for, none against. You talked about depth. They missed some players, but Skelly stepped up. Robinson stepped up. And in midfield, Musa took over when Adams and McKinney weren't there. The biggest, biggest, though, influence, Mr. Gio Reyna as the number 10, the playmaker. And then also assisting on a brilliant goal. The first goal, by the way, by Balagun <laughs> that scored against Canada. And we have a true number nine, babies. We have a true number nine. So depth, the quality and the youth of this team has carried them into a situation where they are the team to beat in CONCACAF. Gold Cup coming up, though, so that will be another one 
to try to win another title in a short amount of time for the U.S. men's national team. By the way, with their interim coach B.J. Gallagher and Burr Halter back, not yet for the Gold Cup, but for the future. Thanks, CR. Still a lot to get to when it comes to potentially the future of U.S. soccer looking pretty bright. We'll give you some time to kick it with us over here in the main studio. We'll let you make that long walk, and we'll see you in just a bit, TR. What is going on? <laughs>